हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड टेन चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चिल्ड्रेन ड्यू टू कोविड नाइनटीन ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट मास प्रमोशन दैट यू नो वेरी वेल न चिल्ड्रेन एज यू नो इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड you studied chapter number 2 polynomials so here also in 10th standard we will begin with this chapter now children you know that before we proceed uh, in this chapter you have to make notebooks one notebook for our uh, routine this video lecture online lesson work and another fair notebook that you have to make and on the basis of that you will get internal marks so children after finishing chapter or during the lecture time any important points you find you feel that you write down in your online notebooks but afterward you write down examples and exercise in fair notebooks so this is simple instruction for your notebooks now children let us begin with chapter number 2 polynomials first we will do Uh, we will study introduction about this chapter and then we will proceed in examples and exercises so children let us begin our work children first one this is x plus 3 this is one example of polynomials let us take another example x square minus 4x plus 7 third example you can read it x cube minus 7x square plus 3x minus 9 let us take few examples this is another example of polynomial now children here you can see that 3 2 1 1 normally generally we don't write hmm? but here it run this way hmm? 4 is first here then 6 then 7 then minus x square here cube term is not there x cube term is not there x phi term is not there even though this is an example of polynomial let us take one more example x cube plus 1 so children these are the examples of polynomial now before we start other topics first of all we must understand some terminologies related to this our chapter polynomial let us uh, study this terminologies children now children these are the terminologies <coughs> first that is terms children we shall study these terms coefficients constant polynomial zero polynomial monomial binomial trinomial hmm? so let us understand one by one this children these are the examples of polynomials you may have doubt about x is it a polynomial yes children this is a polynomial even though this is also a polynomial this is also a polynomial this is also a polynomial these are the numbers children all are polynomials now children let us understand this uh, terminologies first one is terms children this is known as this is known as first term second term third term fourth term means in this polynomial four terms are there in this polynomial two terms are there first one and second one now children when we talk about terms we must know two types of words constant and variable suppose i write here this polynomial x square plus 7x plus 3 children this let us understand this word variable so x and this x they are known as variables this 3 is known as constant and before x here is x here is x square before x number we write that is known as coefficient okay so children here for this x coefficient is 7 
for this x square coefficient is 0? No, number is not there. That doesn't mean 0 answer. Answer is 1. In tradition, we don't write here 1. 1 we don't write. If you write it, then somebody will think that this child doesn't know maths. Hmm? So, before x square, 1 we don't write generally. So, three things you remember. Constant, variable and coefficient. Once again, I am explaining this all thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, pay attention, huh, children. Entire is known as polynomial. First term, second term, third term. Okay. Then, variable. So, x is known as variable. This constant, this 3 is known as constant and before x number is 7, that is known as coefficient. Now children, you may have a question, what about this 2? So this 2 is known as power of this, here x, nothing is there, means here 1 is there. So, <coughs> here this 1 is there, that is also known as power. And with this 3, x term is also there, but that x is invisible x. Why? Because here this 3 is like this. And for 1, it, there is x raised to 0. Children, x raised to 0, that is 1. So with this 3, x raised to 0 is there, but that is invisible. Okay, children? So now, <coughs> constant polynomial. So children, these are the examples of constant polynomial. These two, 12 minus 3, suppose you write 4 minus 4, or if you write, hmm, uh, sorry, minus 4, minus 7, etc. Plus, minus anything, any number you write, they are known as constant polynomial 0 that 0 is known as hmm, 0 polynomial ok now children we have 3 words monomial, binomial and trinomial this depend on terms hmm, this terminology they are depending on terms how many terms are there according to that way names are given if one term is there, that is monomial. So here example, you can write, if x is there, this is monomial. x plus 3, you write, this is known as binomial. Two terms are there. And suppose you write this way, x square plus 3x minus 7. This is known as trinomial. Three terms are there. Hmm? So by this way, children, we have simple introduction of these polynomials. Now children, here you can see that this is which type of polynomial? This is binomial, this is trinomial and more than three uh, terms are there, then we call it polynomial word. These are also polynomials, huh, children, you can speak polynomial, no problem. Now children, these are the examples. This example for monomial, only one term. This example is also a one term, this is also a monomial, okay. This is also a monomial but constant polynomial. This is known as zero polynomial. So now children, these are the basic things that you remember. Now children, degree of the polynomial. Now children, degree of the polynomial, let us understand. Take one example. Here 7x square minus 3x plus 5. This is a polynomial. 7 minus 3, they are known as coefficients. 5 is known as constant. This x is known as variable. This 2 is known as power or exponent of this x. Here this x power is 1, exponent is 1 children. Now children remember, highest exponent highest exponent you find out in this polynomial 
here highest exponent you can see that that is 2 so for this polynomial that is known as degree of this polynomial is 2 okay children degree of this polynomial is 2 in short highest exponent of variable x is whichever number that is known as degree of the polynomial. Let us take another example. Chilan, this is a polynomial. In this polynomial, you have to find out highest exponent. Okay, highest exponent is here. First you observe exponent. This is 3, 4, 2, here x is 1. So, children, these are the exponents. Highest exponent in this polynomial is what? That is 4. So, children, 4 is the degree of this polynomial. Next example, this. Now, children, in this example, highest exponent is 5. So, degree of this polynomial is 5. Okay. 5 is the degree of this polynomial. On the basis of terms children, just now we learnt a polynomial may be monomial or binomial or trinomial. Now children topic is based on degree of the polynomial. Now we will find out different types of polynomial with the help of degree. So let us learn first example. Now children, this example, x plus 3, hmm, this is having degree 1. So, this polynomial is known as linear polynomial and definition is this way. A polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. So, x plus 3, one example, another example you can take minus 9 plus y so degree is 1 here variable instead of x I have taken y any alphabetical letters you can take it no problem children but normally we take x y m etc so here example enough examples these two examples you can understand now children from this general form let us write ax plus b. This is general form of linear polynomial. Okay. In that you can see that x is what? x is variable. And a is what? Coefficient. Of x. And B is what? Constant. Degree is what children? 1. 1 degree polynomial. Hmm? So children these 4, 5 term, terminologies. They are known as terminologies. Terminology means what? Terms related with our particular topic. So here... This is a general form of linear polynomial. Children, this linear polynomial, this is general form. Where x is variable, a is coefficient of x, b is constant term and 1 degree polynomial because here x, 1 is there. So, this is 1 degree polynomial. Now, children, let us take another example, quadratic polynomial. Now, children, examples, let us see. Hmm? X cube, sorry x square minus 7x plus 3. Now children, this is an example of quadratic polynomial. Why? So first you see, degree is second degree polynomial because what is the for definition of how to find degree? Just now I taught. You find out highest exponent or power of this x. So here 1 and 2 are powers. Here is 1, that is 1, here is 2, here is 2. So children, out of these two numbers, highest number is
is 2. So, this is quadratic polynomial. Okay, quadratic, quadratic means 2. Now, children, let us take cubic polynomial. Examples like this, children, x cube plus 7x minus 7x square minus 3x plus 2. This is example of cubic polynomial. Now, children, here, why cubic polynomial degree is 3? So, a polynomial of degree 3, that is known as cubic polynomial. Highest power is 3. Similarly, children, polynomial in one variable of degree n. For this expression, you can refer textbook. Page number is 31. Here, children, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial, hmm? the way here we have written general form. So, that general form you can write for quadratic polynomial also like this, children, ax square plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are constant number and a should not be 0. Children, think over this. Why a should not be 0? If a is 0, then what will happen? Think over it. Okay? Now, children, here, for cubic polynomial also, you can have like this, ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Hmm? This is general form of cubic polynomial. This is general form of quadratic polynomial, children. Hmm? Here also same reason, uh, same uh, note, a, b, c and d are constant numbers. Okay, chil okay children, we will meet in next video session and we will study in detail this topic. Thank you, children.